In this topic, we will be talking about the key issues in international industrial relations. Uh, this topic will deal with the issues uh, or the dimensions of the industry or the organization or the context which affect how the organization should deal with the industrial relations aspect. Uh, so it could be an aspect of the organization or it could be a historical aspect or it could be an aspect from the environment which affects how you should be, how your industrial relations uh, arrangement is going to be affected. So let's take a look at uh, these um, aspects. So um, in the industrial relations policies and practices of multinational corporations that are affected by these dimensions, we are going to discuss those. So number one is the degree of inter-subsidiary production integ integration. And now this is the amount of inter integration between the multinationals headquarters and the subsidiary or between two or more subsidiaries working under the same multinational corporation. So agar Subsidiaries jo hain, wo ek dusre ke upar depend karte honge for, for example, raw material or for some kind of resources. If they will be dependent, if the production is integrated between the, between the subsidiaries or between the headquarters and the subsidiary, uh, in that case, if, it, uh, if the dependence is there, then the industrial relations aspect will be more centralized because integrated production hai to is wajah se jo multinational hai wo ye chahenge ke unke jo processes hai wo smooth rahe aur phir ye ke uniform jo hai industrial relations policy jo hai wo implement ki jaye taake wohi policy aapki ek subsidiary mein implemented ho aur wo usi tarah ki policy dusri subsidiary mein ho taake aapka Production process jo hai, wo chuke integrated hai, to aapke processes jo hai, wo smoothly chale. So, jitni zada integration hogi, utna zada industrial relations jo hai, wo centralized honge. Agar subsidiaries jo hai, wo independent hai, uh, they are not dependent on the production uh, process uh, level, then they, it is possible that the multinational will give more flexibility and more autonomy to the subsidiary itself. For example, Nestle ki jo subsidiaries yahan pe milk pack bana rahi hain ya jo Nestle ka uh, pure life bana rahe hain unki production kisi bhi tarah se kisi aur subsidiary jo ke kisi aur mulk mein kaam kar rahi hai uske upar dependent nahi hai they are independent in the production process wo yahin se raw material collect karte hain yahin se yahin pe uski jo uske upar uh, whatever production process is implemented but for example if you talk about Toyota or Honda they are uh, unke bahut sare parts jo hain wo kuch japan se aate hain kuch kahin aur se aate hain kuch china se aate hain kuch yahan pe uh, outsource kiye jate hain yahan pe local industry se banwaye jate hain to it means ki aapka jo production process hai wo kafi had tak dependent hai on different subsidiaries or on the headquarters that are working in japan or elsewhere in the world so uh, in that case your um, industrial relation aspect is going to be more uh, centralized where the production process is more integrated. Uh, then another aspect which is now uh, at, it, it is something cultural uh, that is the nationality of ownership of the subsidiary. Uh, so research se hume ye pata lagta hai ke jo multinational ki nationality hoti hai yani ke jahan se jo, jo parent company jahan se belong karti hai that is also affects your industrial relations. Ko effect karti hai. So there is difference between European and US held multinational companies. Uh, the US held multinational companies, they tend to keep a formal management system and a closed reporting system. So unka jo human resource management ka aspect hai, wo that is based on more supervision, it is based on more performance orientation, it is based on more individualism. So uh, because of that, the US based companies, hai, wo, uh, they are not, uh, uh, they, they do not focus on a lot on the industrial relations, rather they are more focused on managing people and managing 
employees at the organizational level whereas uh, on the other hand british foreign owned multinational companies they prefer single employer bargaining and assert more managerial prerogative than british owned firms so this is about the uk that uh, firms which are working in the uk and are foreign companies wo jo uh, apna control hai managerial control hai wo zyada use karti hai jabki jo british owned companies themselves hain they allow more uh, industrial relation uh, dynamics in their organization they are more flexible towards collective bargaining they allow more uh, uh, they they allow more power of the trade unions on themselves and they respond to the trade unions more uh, uh, more uh, effectively than the foreign owned multinational companies in britain then us owned uh, subsidiaries so us owned subsidiaries which are working in other uh, countries they are more centralized in labor relations decision making than british owned companies so british owned companies jo hain wo zyada aapko ऑटोनमी देते हैं कि आप अपने इंडस्ट्रियल रिलेशन को खुद मैनेज करें वेर एज जो यू एस ओन्ड सब्सिडरीज हैं वो चीज़ों को ज़्यादा अपने कंट्रोल में रखते हैं और ज़्यादा सेंट्रलाइज रखते हैं और इंडस्ट्रियल रिलेशन को अपने हाथ में रखते हैं सब्सिडरी को ऑटोनमी और फ्लेक्सीबिलिटी नहीं देते सो नेशनैलिटी से भी आपका जो है वो इफ़ेक्ट होता है कि आप किस तरह से इंडस्ट्रियल रिलेशन को मैनेज करते हैं then another aspect of uh, this is the industri- uh, international human resource management approach so aapko yaad hoga ki humne previous uh, ch- uh, topics mein padha tha ki ethnocentric approach bhi ho sakti hai aur geocentric approach bhi ho sakti hai majorly hum in research in 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 do approaches ke upar ki gayi hai so jo ethnocentric approach hai ethnocentric approach mein ye hota hai ki aap apne culture ke sath bound rehte hain aur aap flexibility nahi show karte सो एथनोसेंट्रिक अप्रोच में ये रिसर्च से सामने आया है कि ज़्यादा कॉन्फ्लिक्ट्स होते हैं सो ऑब्वियसली वैन यू डू नॉट एक्सेप्ट द दैट द कल्चर ऑफ द अदर कंट्री इज़ डिफरेंट एंड यू हैव टू टेक इन टू इट इन टू अकाउंट एंड यू कीप ऑन बींग स्टक टू योर ओन कल्चरल वैल्यूज सो ऑब्वियसली देर इज मोर पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ कॉन्फ्लिक्ट एंड देयर फॉर इंडस्ट्रियल रिलेशन कॉन्फ्लिक्ट आर मोर प्रिवेलेंट वैन देर इज एन एथनोसेंट्रिक अप्रोच whereas in the geocentric approach the organization it gains more influence on the in, uh, industrial relation dynamics so they become more influential because they uh, they give a kind of flexible attitude towards the culture towards the dynamics of the particular context of that country wo zyada accepting hote hain so jab wo accepting hote hain to unki jo industrial relation dynamics ke upar influence hai wo badh jata hai aur zyada effective ho jata hai इसके अलावा अनदर एस्पेक्ट विच अफेक्ट्स योर इंडस्ट्रियल रिलेशंस इज मल्टानेशनल प्रायर एक्सपीरियंस इन इंडस्ट्रियल रिलेशंस सो यू कैन यू सी दैट इन यूरोपियन कंट्रीज इंडस्ट्रियल रिलेशंस हैज बीन अ पार्ट ऑफ एम्प्लॉ एंड एम्प्लॉयर रिलेशनशिप एंड इट हैज इमर्ज फ्रॉम ए कल्चर ऑफ कलेक्टिव बार्गेनिंग बिटवीन द एम्प्लॉयर एंड एम्प्लॉयर सो दे आर मोर फ्लेक्सीबल and more uh, accepting towards uh, trade unions and collective bargainings whereas the us firms they are not another aspect which affects your industrial relations dynamics is the subsidiary characteristics ke subsidiary kis tarah ki hai uske kya characteristics hai uh, so jo subsidiaries jo hain they are formed by acquisition of well established local firms get more autonomy so aapko yaad hoga ke सब्सिडरी फॉर्मेशन के क्या क्या डिफरेंट डायनामिक्स हैं तो एक्विजिशन जो कि किसी एक वेल इक्विप्ड और वेल इस्टेब्लिश फॉर्म की एक्विजिशन आप लोकल फॉर्म करते हैं वहाँ पे इंडस्ट्रियल रिलेशंस को ज़्यादा ऑटोनमी दी जाती है ऑब्वियसली इट इज़ अ सेटअप विच इज़ ऑलरेडी इस्टेब्लिश और मल्टा नेशनल से सिर्फ बाहर से आके उसको एक्वायर कर लिया है तो एक्वायर करके वो बहुत सारी चीज़ें जो हैं वो उनके उनकी ऑटोनमी उनको प्रोवाइड कर देते हैं uh then subsidiaries that have more strategic importance and that are young they are kept more under centralized control so jo subsidiaries jo hai jinki strategic importance aapki organization ke liye zyada hai aur abhi ke wo apne uh, uh, jo hai uh, younger stage ke upar hain they have just been formed and they have not yet established ke uh, 
uh, that they would be successful or not they are kept more under a centralized control then there is also greater intervention uh, by the headquarters when the subsidiary is dependent on the parent firm for resources so agar aap uh, independent nahi hai agar aapko financial ya human resources ke liye aap depend kar rahe hain apni parent company ke upar tab bhi intervention jo hai wo zyada hogi or in a situation when the subsidiary is performing poorly so aise situation mein bhi jo hai wo headquarters ki taraf se industrial relations mein uh, mein inter uh, intervention jo hai wo aapko zyada nazar aayegi uske alawa ek aur important aspect is the characteristics of the home product market ye bhi humne last topics mein padha tha ke jo home product market hai wo agar aapki extensive hoti hai to aapki hr policies different hoti hain isi tarah se aapke jo industrial relations hain wo bhi aapki home product market ke upar डिपेंड करता है अगर आपकी होम प्रोडक्ट मार्केट जो है वो बहुत एक्सटेंसिव है अगर आपकी सेल्स जो हैं वो आपकी अपनी कंट्री में एक मेजर प्रपोर्शन रखती हैं फॉर एग्जांपल 80 परसेंट सेल्स जो हैं वो आपके प्रोडक्ट की आपकी अपनी कंट्री में है तो फिर आपकी जो सब्सिडरी है उसको आपकी एक्सटेंशन समझा जाएगा इट को और ऐसी सिचुएशन में देर वुड बी मोर कंट्रोल एक्सरसाइज बाय द मल्टा ऑन द सब्सिडरी वेर एज इफ योर प्रोडक्ट मार्केट इज लार्जर आउटसाइड योर नेशनल बाउंड्रीज फॉर एग्जाम्पल बहुत सारी ब्रिटिश और यूरोपियन फर्म्स हैं उनकी अपनी नेशनल मार्केट इतनी नहीं है जितनी उनकी मार्केट जो है वो आउटसाइड वर्ल्ड के अंदर है बिकॉज ऑब्वियसली छोटे छोटे मुल्क हैं थोड़ी थोड़ी पॉपुलेशन है लेकिन अगर आप अमेरिका को देखें तो वो इतना बड़ा मुल्क है इतनी बड़ी उनकी अपनी पॉपुलेशन है इसी तरह से इंडिया हो गया या चाइना हो गया Uh, तो जो यूरोपियन कंट्रीज हैं उनकी अपनी मार्केट जो है वो अपनी कंट्री में तो इतनी होती नहीं है जितनी उनकी बाहर uh, मुल्कों में पाई जाती है सो so, ऐसी सिचुएशन में जो आपकी सब्सिडरीज हैं वो मल्टा uh, नेशनल uh, उसको ज़्यादा कंट्रोल प्रोवाइड करेंगे बिकॉज वो प्रोडक्ट मार्केट के ऊपर डिपेंड कर रहे होते देन अनदर आस्पेक्ट इज द मैनेजमेंट एटीट्यूड टूवर्ड्स यूनियंस वी सी दैट इन द अमेरिका इट हैज़ अ डीप रूटेड अवर्जन टू यूनियनिज़म हमेशा से जो है वो उनका एक ये कल्चर रहा है कि वो यूनियनिज़म को सप्रेस करते रहे हैं क्योंकि इट स्टार्ट फ्राम ए कल्चर ऑफ स्लेवरी तो स्लेवरी को भी वो पहले तो दबाते रहे फिर आहिस्ता आहिस्ता वहाँ पर राइट्स जो हैं उनके स्लेवस के और फिर और फिर राइट्स ऑफ इक्वल ह्यूमन राइट्स की बात हुई लेकिन यह कि एक कल्चर है वहाँ पर यूनियनिज़म को सब्जी करने का Uh, U.S. management ideology is based on individualism, pragmatism, and decentralization. So, जब आप individualism की बात करेंगे तो collective bargaining कैसे करेंगे? इसी तरह जब आप pragmatism की बात करेंगे, pragmatism and it is also based on the capitalist laws के जो जितना काम करेगा उसको उतनी उसके return मिल जाएगा ये चाहे individual के ऊपर बात आए या ये बात जो है वो economy के ऊपर आए या ये organization पे आए so there is no margin of uh, you know bargaining ke iske rights bhi hone chahiye aur iske rights bhi hone chahiye it's not a socialist culture it's more of a capitalist culture jiski basis ye hai ke jo jitna kaam karega usko uske rewards mil jayenge uh, that uh, uh, that is based on the capitalist laws of economy so in us jo management ka attitude hai that is more averse towards unions then another aspect which affects the management attitudes is the trade union density bahut sare mulk hain jahan pe log log jo hain wo trade unions mein membership hasil karte hain so we see that the trade union density is highest in norway denmark finland etc and it is lowest in france us and korea so you see that the national differences between the trade union density that also affects the way trade unions and industri industrial relations they are managed uh, then we see that the an aspect of uh, uh, this international relations is strike proneness which organizations are more strike prone and strike proneness is measured by strike frequency strike size and strike duration and it was researched between multinationals and local firms so multinationals they were less strike prone and local firms they were more strike uh, uh, strike prone but what happened was that when strikes happened in the local firms 
the strike uh, duration was uh, was less than in multinational firms why because the multinational firms they allowed uh, the the employees to go on a strike and they did not you know respond to that local firms ke sath kya hota hai ki unke paas itne resources nahi hote unke paas itna paisa nahi hota itna unke paas time nahi hota ke wo employees ko strike pe rehne de वेर एज मल्टा नेशनल जो हैं उनके पास बहुत सारे रिसोर्सेज होते हैं तो वो ये कहते हैं कि ठीक है अगर स्ट्राइक पे गए हुए हमें कोई फ़र्क नहीं पड़ता ये जब इनका दिमाग दुरुस्त हो जाएगा तो खुद ही वापस आ जाएंगे सो स्ट्राइक फ्रीक जो ड्यूरेशन है सो वो मल्टा नेशनल के अंदर आपको ज़्यादा नज़र आती है लोकल फॉर्म्स क्योंकि लोकल फॉर्म्स फ़ौर रिएक्ट करते हैं कि नहीं नहीं अपने एम्प्लॉयज़ को वापस लेके आए हमारा बिजनेस कैसे चलेगा so there are so many various different aspects which affect the international relation policies of these multinationals and all must be taken into account by the human resource managers of these multinationals a researcher concludes it in these words that general statements cannot be applied to the organization of the labor relation functions within the mncs rather different mncs adopt different labor relation strategies in relation to the environmental factors peculiar to each firm in other words it is the type of multinational under consideration which is important rather than multinationality itself so it's not about that you are a multinational it's not about multinationality it's about the fact that what type of multinational it is individually that will affect what type of labor labor relation policies should be framed by that particular multinational company